you might have heard that practice makes perfect. And I just want to tell you that that isn't always true. If you want to improve your artwork, you don't always have to practice over and over and over again to get better. In fact, that can actually be detrimental to your progress. You might have even heard that in order to become a master of something, you have to put 10,000 hours of work into it. And I just want to let you know that that is not always true. Yes, practice does help you get better, but practicing one thing over and over and over again is not going to help you improve. For example, if you want to get better at painting portraits, it's not a good idea to just practice painting portrait after portrait after portrait. You will pick up bad habits, you won't learn any new skills, and yet yeah, you might get better at painting some portraits in a specific style, in a specific medium, but it won't help you become a better artist. The thing that will help you become the best artist you can possibly be is variety. It's best to mix things up a little bit. Sometimes I like to paint wildlife, which is my predominant sort of theme in my artwork, which I'm sure you all know. But then other times, like this painting for example, I am painting Geralt from The Witcher and it's something that is completely out of my comfort zone. I don't usually paint portraits like this. I'm using oil paints here, and I'm using it in a technique that I would describe as similar to watercolours. This is a new medium for me, or relatively new medium, so it's not my usual acrylics. And I'm using a technique that I wouldn't usually use. So I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone, and I am trying to learn from this new technique and this new subject. If you just put 10,000 hours into painting the same thing, you do not have these chances to learn, you do not have these chances to improve. Some things that I've found personally that have improved my wildlife art is one, change up my mediums. So I've found that working in charcoals, working in pastels, working in acrylics, working in oils, all help me to learn new skills that are transferable within each technique and within each medium. I also find that mixing up the subject and mixing up the theme of what I'm painting, so like abstract paintings for example, they help me learn mark making and building shapes and structures and adding a little bit of variety and interest to a painting that wouldn't necessarily always be there in a hyper-realistic wildlife piece. Painting still lifes help you with proportions, help you with those basic drawing skills, help you recognise colours, all things that you would need to improve your wildlife art, if that's, say, what you're focusing on, or help you improve your portraiture, if that's what you're focusing on. All the skills that we learn by experimenting with different techniques, and yes, practising, and yeah, we might be putting 10,000 hours into this practice, but we are not practising the same thing over and over and over again. We are adding variety, we are mixing things up, and we are learning from our mistakes, but we are giving ourselves the opportunity to make those mistakes. The other thing that I find the most challenging with my work now, that wasn't as challenging when I was younger, is actually enjoying the process. I think as I've grown older and as I've moved into the realm of professional artwork and creating commissions and creating artwork to sell, I've focused more on the outcome rather than the process. And as an artist who wants to improve, that is completely the wrong way to go about trying to get better. So I'm going to say something that's a little bit crazy now, but just bear with me because it will help you improve your artwork. What I would like you to do is spend a few hours, even a day, creating a piece of artwork. I want you to try and create the best thing that you possibly can. And then, here's the crazy bit, I want you to completely destroy that artwork. Rip up the paper, tear the canvas, to smash the wood, smash the sculpture, whatever it is you're doing, destroy it completely. 
I want you to lose the idea that the outcome is the most important thing. It isn't. The process and the way that you create the artwork and the fact that you enjoy yourself and you pour yourself into it and you put your heart and your soul into it is what is the most important thing. And by enjoying every single piece of artwork that you create, regardless of the outcome, that is the fastest and most efficient way that you are going to improve your painting, your drawing, your sculpture, whatever it is you're trying to improve. Another little way of doing this is taking some sort of toned watercolour paper or some newsprint paper and just getting a brush with some water on it and just drawing or painting with that water. Because what you're going to find is you're going to have a very short amount of time to create the drawing and that drawing is eventually going to evaporate. It's going to just disappear. And that means we are not going to be as attached to that final outcome. We can be a bit looser, we can be a bit more free with our drawing and we can enjoy that process a little bit more. And it's that enjoyment and that looseness and that feeling of being free when you're creating that you need to carry forward into every single piece that you create. Whether it's fan art, whether it's a commission, whether it's just something for you, you need to enjoy every single step of that process. And then finally, probably the most difficult part of this, so even more difficult than tearing up a drawing that you really love, is critiquing your own artwork. It's picking out the sections of your artwork that just aren't right. You need to be able to acknowledge and identify the areas that you struggle with most. If you can identify your weaknesses, that is the very first step in correcting those weaknesses, in improving. So let's say, for example, you struggle with your proportions. Well, Every picture that you do for the next 10 to 50 paintings or drawings or whatever, your main focus, your main goal is to improve your proportions, regardless of what the rest of the painting looks like. You don't need to worry about the details. You don't need to worry about the colours. Then, once you're happy with your proportions, you can move on to something else. You're not trying to create finished masterpieces. You're trying to learn something in the process of creating each individual artwork. And if you are not learning something new, then unfortunately, you have failed as an artist. Every single painting that you create should be enabling you to try new things. It should be enabling you to learn new techniques or improve your process. You need to grow and improve as an artist with every single piece that you create. And if you're not doing that, then you need to change the way that you are creating. So the goal of most artists, and I know I was in this position as well, is to sell their artwork eventually and make a career out of it. So if you are looking to sell your artwork and you're not sure how to go about starting to sell your artwork and what you need to focus on, then why not check out this video here? It goes through my tips for beginning to sell your artwork and what you need to think about before you start trying to sell your paintings.